Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. Solving the quadratic equation by completing the square. We're going to be looking at how to do this using a geometric representation or an algebra tiles. Some of you guys might want to skip this entirely. If your teacher has you use these little algebra tile things, or if you've ever seen them before, this might be helping you. Um, the problems you would ask, the problem that completing the square does is it says how many ones would be needed to complete the square in something like x squared plus 6x. Okay, so you would have one big x squared piece, and then we have six little x bars, and we'd be trying to make this thing into a square. So I'm going to draw this out, of course, not very perfectly. Um, I'm trying to make this thing into a square. It's asking how many little units do I need to fill in in this region here to have it be a perfect square. You can see right now this is x by 3, and this is x by 3. So I can tell I'm going to need to fill in the square with 9 of these little 1s. So your answer here would be 9. And then this perfect square trinomial would be written by x squared plus 6x plus 9, or you could write it as x plus 3 quantity squared for the sides, the um, length times width. Again, because what you did is you took the original part here, and you completed it into a square. Let's try another one. If I was given x squared and 4x bars, here's my x squared bit, and then here's my 4x bars, I'm trying to figure out how many little units would I need to turn this thing into a perfect square. So in this bottom right corner region, I need 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, that's the solution. x squared plus 4x plus 4 also could be written as length times width squared. Okay, so what this is trying to get you to think about is how is that number that you're adding related to your original b term. Like here I added 9, I started with b equals 6. Here I had, I added 4 starting from b equals 4. We can do one more. Let's say we had x squared plus 8x. Um, hopefully you can, I'm going to draw this one faster. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60. I need 16 right here. So if I have, in this problem, x squared plus 8x plus 16, it's going to become x plus 4 quantity squared. Okay, and the amount I'm adding is 16. So again, thinking about how did I get from this b number to get to the, uh, the number of units that I added. And the way you do it, the consistent pattern here is you take the b value, divided by 2, and whatever that result is, is squared. Like in number 1, my b value was 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3, 3 squared is 9. Or like in the next one, my b value is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 squared is 4. There it is. Here, 8 divided by 2 is 4, 4 squared is 16. So this is what's asking you guys to get at geometrically, geometrically is how you could move from a binomial into a trinomial by turning it into a perfect square. And by 2. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. <laughs> So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be... Less than. Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two... Um, to fix. Yeah. <laughs>